Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome in to Canada. Coming to you from Canada. My name is Leanne. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new and you're returning, thank you so much. I so appreciate you and I appreciate everything that all of you do to subscribe, click on the likeies, do the YouTube things to help spread awareness around the channel because we're pretty new here and MMO Tarot usually we do true crime, but yours truly, if you've been following me for a while, know that I am writing and I'm doing a lot of introspection lately and just felt called and I've already said so to do some more spiritual readings to help you, the followers. So I'm going to be doing a pick three here today. Get used to doing some pick threes. And, uh, oh, my throat chakra is like I want to cough. So, what spiritual lesson are you here to learn right now? I believe we have more than one spiritual lesson. Why are my throat, my throat chakra is just like tickly. <clears throat> Someone, something on one of these three piles is going to be about something to do with a voice speaking your truth or whatnot. But anyways, what spiritual lesson are you here to learn? We all have multiple lessons in my opinion, but right now, what are you here to learn? So, I'm going to put the camera, I'm going to shuffle a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to shuffle a bit uh, just for a second here so you know that I'm shuffling the cards and then I'm going to switch the camera over to pick a pile, just study which of the three you feel like picking. And um, from there, you can, <clears throat> sorry, zero in on which ones you think you're being attracted to to uh, pick from and uh That'll be your message about what you're meant to be working on spiritually right now, particularly in retrograde. Okay, y'all. So again, my name's Leanne. Go to the About section if you want to learn about me, if you want a private reading. The cost there and how to email me uh, is there and a little bit of my background. And enjoy this and let me know uh, how you enjoyed this reading. Give me some feedback. Let me know if anything resonates and how it resonates and where you're coming from. And thank you so much. See you on the other side. Okay, here you go. Take a look at these three piles. You can pause this recording here. And which one are is speaking to you? Which one are you intuitively picking up on? We want to also develop intuition. So I'm just going to hold the camera here for a second. Which of these three piles is speaking to you? I'm just... Yours truly is going to have to do a better job next time I do a pick three for you. Which one is speaking to you? And uh, go to that pile. It'll be time stamped below. Okay, pile one. I've only in front of you uh, shuffled one, two decks, one oracle card and a few tarot. And then I've got some other oracles here in tarot here that I'll pull as we're talking. But this is, you are an earth star activation, anchoring, grounding, action, Isis, energy, wild. Okay, because I have a lot of this in my soul contract. So what lesson are you here to learn? You're here, the spiritual lesson is to uh, really stay grounded to stay grounded because you've probably been through a lot of death and rebirth Isis energy and really anchoring your, yourself and staying grounded has been hard for you because of a lot of trauma and conflict in your past. But you have to keep grounded because you, when you're grounded, are actually activating, anchoring DNA into the earth. So let's just see what these six cards are saying here we've got the five of pentacles in reverse so there's been a loss a feeling of betrayed and being abandoned in childhood being left alone that you have yet to be able to recover feeling really really in the dark and lost a lot of time and not knowing where you belong uh, a, a prominent male figure in your life um who uh really you battled with i really feel like you were in conflict with lack of father figure uh really in the dark about your childhood not understanding your childhood the moon above the childhood resisting or not having memories of the childhood feeling in the dark about your childhood having an absent father maybe seeking to want to have answers some feeling of um trickster energy you know I, there's some that you felt 
uh, tricked you, you couldn't trust, you just have a lack of trust, uh, feel really betrayed, feel really betrayed. And so let me get some more on your energy, on what you're here to learn. You're here to overcome the storyline clearly. What our souls are meant to learn, you're here to be loyal to what you love and to watch your words. Yeah, to watch your thinking, to watch your words. That's exactly it. To be grounded and not let your mindset and the thoughts, self-defeating storylines run uh, in your head and self-sabotage and limiting beliefs and hating on yourself and not loving yourself. Like I really sense that you've been, um, okay. So loyal to what you love. Oh my guides are coming in here. Loyal to what you love is what's going to keep you activated and grounded. So whatever that is for you, but the overcoming is not beating yourself up. This is not your fault. This is something in childhood that is not your fault. And so you're here to release the trauma from all of this and to recognize that this absent father figure, it could be a female, but represents in male energy. Um, there was a lot of conflict and illusions and mistruths, and it's not your fault. It's definitely not, there you go, time to heal. Take time to heal. It's time right now. Your soul's it's lesson right here, right now, is to do what you love, to stay grounded, to get out of your head, to heal from this past trauma because you have a purpose of when you're staying grounded, when you're doing meditations, when you're anchoring in, you're actually anchoring in light codes and DNA into the Mother Earth grid. And that's really, really an important objective right now. So do a lot of meditation exercises where you're anchoring in psychic insight. Yeah, you're anchoring in um, through your root chakra into the core of the crystal grid, Mother Earth. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Yes follow the moon can also be intuition there's something about your childhood that maybe you intuitively picked up on but you denied yourself the right to feel into your intuition about something in your childhood so you are quite psychic so if you are following this channel it's not going to be surprising we have a lot of people in this channel that are very into tarot and uh using tarot for true crime and whatnot so you are definitely going to be activating your psychic int into insight intuition if if it's not happening already or hasn't happened already then it will be coming up and this is what's required of you because you're to be anchoring in light code energy this is very interesting because this is very much one of my soul missions again i think we have a lot of soul missions but right now you are meant to be healing releasing look at voyage a healing voyage a whale energy is always about healing and the emotions there's also i'm being you know mother and calf okay letting go of some mothering parenting issue that you feel connected to energetically you're going into some healing i feel like this is you as a child and there's still this over large overarching energy of the mother father calf uh, over the calf here where there's energetic ties and uh you need to release some storyline of your past get me some more please spirit get me some more please and and the, the one uh way to do that is through meditation always trust yeah trust the process trust the process that you're going through that you will heal from this you might be untrusting right now or you might be seeing your psychic uh, gifts coming out and not trusting in them but you're being asked to trust in this process Start to watch your words every time you hear yourself. The other thing that meditation does is you can start to hear those things that you say to yourself that you weren't aware of more easily. And um, as you start to slow life down and you meditate more, you'll hear more of the self-sabotaging, limiting belief. And to really stop it in its tracks and reframe into something more positive about yourself. Yeah, really get 
solid right now you're kind of running away with your emotions you're feeling very emotional and you're not reining them in this is the night this is a young energy so you're really learning you're newly learning on how to uh, grasp some emotions that might be resurfacing for you at this time this is a mercury retrograde still and it can be emotional yes new starts Think about a new start and keep grounded. New beginnings, positive new starts in the material world. But this is also about the grounding energy that you're being asked to start to utilize by through meditation, you know, exercises. You can listen to a lot of them uh, here on YouTube for free. I also have one in my membership at $2.99 a month. If you also want to learn tarot, that's available. And if you want a personal reading, check the about section and email me regarding personal readings. Thank you. Okay, one last for material. Yeah, you're really, um, you're guarded. You've been hurt in the past and you've protecting yourself and you're guarded. And spirit is asking you to, to let go, let your guard down. It's time to heal. It's time to heal. It's okay. Healing, in healing, it demands, and this is another exercise that I have that I wrote in a book proposal, uh, that it's okay to be emotional, to tap into those feelings. It's okay to allow them to resurface, and that could be going on for you right now, That to trust that when you feel that pain and you allow yourself to feel into it, that that is part of the healing journey. That is part of the healing journey. But right now you're you're closed up because you've been hurt in the past. It's time to open your heart. It's time to heal your heart and open your heart up. It's time to heal your heart and open your heart up. Yes, you in the past you had unbalanced relationships where you felt there was not enough give and take and you were not maybe cared for properly even as a child. I'm picking up two of voices, unsure of you know, unable to make decisions. You don't trust your own intuition to make decisions. And, you know, always stressed, a lot of stress, a lot of stress when you have to make a decision because you don't trust in yourself, because you've lost faith in your innate sense of being because of this storyline that you were fed or that you weren't worthy enough, you're not good enough from childhood. Yes, right now you're trying to find your true north, but you're not there yet because it's time to heal. You're trying to find where you're meant to be and what your soul's calling is, but you're, this is in reverse because there's a delay because you have to go through this healing process first. And then once you go through this healing process, for the majority, I feel like the psychic intuition is going to kick in and you'll be anchoring some DNA into the earth. But right now you're being asked to <clears throat> to heal. To heal, to allow yourself to feel into the pain and to heal. Let's get a couple of clarifiers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. A bunch of flew out. So we're just going to ask for a couple more, please. A couple of clarifiers. Bag. Something important, such as a new job or raise. Okay. So you may be worrying about that, but this can also be this new beginning. For some of you, you're really holding your money close because you, you're. this can be about not enough money, really worried about money right now. And so if you're starting uh, and applied for jobs, for those of you that this is applying to, then you're going to hear about a raise or get some new start financially, materially, because right now this could be for some of you around work where you don't feel that there's a give and take where you're not being paid fairly for your job. This is just a secondary message coming in to trust that everything will be okay. Family wishes come true. Okay. Trust everything's going to be okay. What else do you need to hear? Let's just do, uh, Oh, I did this deck. Let's just do, what else do you need to hear? We'll just do a couple from here and then we'll close this off. What else do you need to hear right now? bench yeah you're in between you're in between worlds you're you're not you know you're not ready to move on into this new beginning quite yet but it is coming up but you're sort of feeling like you're stuck in the middle and you are you're at an in-between stage yeah you're out of balance right now the, let the, the these guides are telling you to get back into balance because you're out of balance right now 
out of balance, not thinking positively enough, stalling your blessings from coming in because you're worried about this financial situation. You're being asked to get out of your head and to release that. It's time to heal those old wounds of the past about not having enough, not being treated fairly. It's time to let that go. It's time to trust in people again, to allow people into your life. And that's a big storyline and it's easier said than done, but you can always ask for help from Archangel Michael. So let's see what your <clears throat> last encouraging angel messages are, and then we will move the pile too. But thank you so much for being here. Okay. I'm going to do that again because three of them flew out. Okay. Assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Yeah, speak clearly. It's okay to allow to feel your emotions. It's time to heal. So this, I said this at the beginning, my throat chakra was uh, life purpose is in reverse. Again, you're searching for your true north, but it's just delayed. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings you great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will so find you. Now, it's in reverse. It was It's delayed. But it's this about get, being loyal to what you love. Always follow your heart when you're looking for your purpose. I'm going to put it upright because I trust you're going to find it. You just need to heal a little bit first to reward yourself. You've been giving a lot for yourself lately to others this unbalanced unfairness in the energy and it's time for you to receive make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way this balance of giving and receiving is essential to keep your energy mood motivation at a consistently high level yeah you've got to release this so you can allow this is what mercury retrograde is asking of us to release these things that don't serve us so we can allow things to come in so you know when you see this uh, trust that it's relevant and it's to let go of this negative thinking to this untrusting that not everybody's going to harm you or hurt you, that you can make a good decision, that you will be paid what you're worth, etc. Tree wisdom. The tree dryad will help you to navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds that it makes. So you are being guided here. If you listen, you stay, stay still, listen, do some meditation. You will find your life purpose. You will find your true north. But you're in a time of healing right now. So it's just a matter of healing at this moment. Thank you for being here. I hope this was helpful. Please comment below and uh, love and light. Hello, pile two. Here we go. So you have what spiritual lesson are you here to learn right now? Uh, clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy, crystal skull wisdom. This is interesting. Wow. Let's get a little bit more. I'm going to need to clarify this one. And you have the three of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the emperor, Strength, the King of Wands. Okay. So you are really, I, 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 even though this is crystal and divine healing, I really feel like you're working uh, in the arts, some sort, but I feel like there's, it could be rehab, um, healing energy, but it could be around the brain, but we're going to get more. But you, uh, this is like leadership entrepreneur business this is work um three of pentacles is collaborating running a team you know some people that are like you're inspiring people to give them hope and strength so this is like a career so far this seems like a really big career reading um that you're meant to do with respect to your career let's get some clarity on this let's get some clarity please Okay, pile two. What's the spiritual lesson you're here to learn? Something that you've had to overcome that you will then help others with is maybe potentially it. So you've got time for a deep dive. Truth transcends illusion. Wow, there's four here. Uh, antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. So this is in reverse and surrender now. Moth spirit. Okay. So I, I do really get that you 
it's time for you to learn how you can take your wisdom. I feel like you've been through something. I really feel like you've been through. It's time to be potentially a leader in business of yourself or to put yourself out there to collaborate with others in work. There's some sort of expansion going on in work. But I feel like you're supposed to be inspiring others. And I feel like it's something that you've had to overcome. Something that you've had to overcome. And I just keep picking up like, like brain scans, brain, like... Uh, loss of memory, um, loss of functioning, like a stroke and trying to get back going again or, um, you know, having to learn to surrender to a new life and having to understand how life is this health issue has been forced to slow you down, how you um, really uh, can't think clearly like you've having a hard time memorizing, remembering, remembering things or feeling like yourself again. This, this is the energy I'm picking up on, but I want to ask for more clarity on this. So for you, it could be a personal, like a, a head cash concussion or, um, a head, hang on a second, too many fell out, a head, um, injury, um, you know, whether it's a stroke or a surgery that was required, I feel like you're meant to be a leader to help others with how to recover, how to adjust. Yeah, taking risks. You're being asked um, to to really take what you've learned, your wisdom, your your wisdom, to get clear on how you can help heal others with the wisdom that you've learned, or this is what you're going through now, and this is what's going to be the outcome of what you're here to help others understand that what you've been through, as much as it's been painful and an experience that you are, ha you know, you, you've had a hard time with, you have to um, understand that this was here to help you. Yes, to help people release their um, <clears throat> inability. <clears throat> like now, they don't want to just sit and do nothing. Like this new adjusted lifestyle that people have to face because, um, you know, they maybe can't work or there's, I, I just can't help but think of it as like a brain. You're teaching people how to relearn how to talk or redo things from stroke or something to that effect. Um, that you've had to go through that demands more patience that, you know, to, to really release all the pain. It's time to really get, go into a deep dive. You're being asked to take a risk to deep dive into taking a risk on how you can be a leader the emperor to lead other people, to build a community where you can in work, where you can be inspiring to help others find the strength to release their, you know, they're, they're having, this is like, the exact same message, two different decks, you know, life is not speeding up. This is in reverse. Life is slowing down. They're unable to relax into this new life because there's this boredom and not being able to work or, you know, it's surrendering to, you know, the now and trusting that they'll be okay, but that life is slowed down, but it's okay. There's a learning that happens in life when life slows down. I've been through this as well, where like nothing you do, um, seems to get you out of what you're in. So um, if that is the universe saying you're not meant to move forward, you're meant to slow down and accept this is where you're at. Um, so this is what something you're either in now or have been or will be. And you're meant to your spiritual lesson is to learn how to cope so you can teach others focused intentions. Yes. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. Perfect. So, so again, this is the mindset where if you've had to reheal, retrain your brain or something, you would have had to have this focused intention like an athlete with daily goals, daily exercises and work at it daily and be consistent and dedicated like the emperor, like the eight of pentacles, work hard at it. And if you've already done that, then you've got to focus your intentions on how you can help others, how you can build a community, three of pentacles and help others with this divine healing high vibrational energy you've got wisdom crystal skull wisdom to bring to the world that you must share you will share you are here to share connect with the heaven and ask and you shall receive clarity prayer and contemplation divine healing hilarion honor your sensitivity retreat and recharge and heal 
the, your light can support others. I mean, if that is not validation of everything I've just said, this last card, you are divine healer, divine healing. You've got divine healing here. Okay. Honor your sensitivity. Yeah, you're sensitive. You're emotional. This has been a life upheaval. But you're here to retreat and recharge. It's here over and over again. Don't force it. And really heal yourself. And if you want it and you're going to use this to help others, log it. Track it while you're doing this. While you're in re Mercury retrograde, release the need to get out of this. Release the need that you can't be still, that you can't sit here and do nothing, that you can't. You're, the universe is going to force you to sit until you sit and to heal and do the, what you need to do. Or sit and contemplate how you're going to make this, turn this around to help others so you can support others. Your light can support others. This is what I said. This is what I was feeling. It's time to recharge and reheal and ask for your divine guidance. If you ask and they, they, you shall receive the clarity that you're asking for. You shall receive. Let's see what other cards want to come out. I'm going to ask for some other cards here. Okay, wild, wild, wild. What else do we need to know? Here's some emotional angel support cards coming in for you. Music. Listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle your memories. Wow, 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 and charm fairies to your door. This is really interesting because my dad has dementia, and they say that dementia patients love listening to music. But I said, you might be having a hard time getting your memories back. And here we are, music... Um, can lift your soul and rekindle memories. So you're being guided to listen to music as one of your healing modalities, which is, I love that. There are high vibrations in music for healing. Absolutely. Go to YouTube and get healing, um, you know, vibrational um, uh, meditations or sleep for when you're sleeping, uh, DNA regeneration, all that stuff. Um, okay, children. So you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All true children, including your inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So whether that's your inner child, the memories that you've lost you know, that you want to bring back, whether you need to allow your inner child to come out and play and just be sort of curious in this, curious like a child in this new state of life or new state of being and just embrace it with curiosity, like as in a playful, you know. Yeah, three of emotions celebration. So this is a reverse. So you're, you're not feeling celebratory right now. You're not feeling a sense of love and community around you right now. And I, apologies if this is the case for some of you. This is a general reading, so not all of it will apply to everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Very emotional. Seven of emotions. Can't make a decision. And yes, trying to make a decision. Too many options, too many choices, too many uh, emotions that are pulling at your strings, heartstrings, thereby giving you um, some challenges and um you know, making decisions is a challenge right now, which is why you're asked to prayer and connect with the heaven. Ask for clarity and you will get it. But allow yourself to do this deep dive into these emotional states and, you know, listen to music and allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to contemplate and to really heal and release this, you know, unsettledness because, as I said, I've been there, done that. And until you learn to be happy with nothing going on and not feeling like you're reaching your goals, you're going to get, the universe is just going to make you sit there. So you might as well release and get patient and explore and be curious about what's going on in your life right now because this is in reverse. Yes, you're being called to get out of your head. You're beating yourself up. There's a lot of battling yourself, self-sabotage, limiting beliefs, arguing with yourself about your self-image and you you know and it's 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 deceptive and it's not helpful and so you're being encouraged to get out of that self-sabotaging behavior yes you've got the hangman you're being asked but you're not listening right now hangman in uh, upright is about pausing, sitting still, looking at things from a different perspective. And I feel like you know intuitively this is what is being asked of you, but 
you're really refusing to hear that message. And so it's coming up in reverse. And so that's why I keep saying over and over again, you know, you're going to be s stuck. I mean, the universe, I've been here. I'm I, I, telling you, there is a higher power that will make sure that you get the lesson one way or another. You might as well learn it sooner than later. So you're being asked to log, you know, to get into this receptive, um, you know, see the mothers birthing the baby. So there's some birthing idea, business plans that you're going to birth into the world. But right now that the birthing is in the belly, the baby hasn't come out yet. You are birthing this. You are, it's time to really heal yourself, your inner child, your visions about your mother, your visions about your childhood. You are birthing and bringing a new idea to the world, but you have to heal yourself first. And that's what you're being asked to do before you can bring this idea into the world or to sit and pause more, feel into the emotions. But you're, you're not, you're not um, fully embracing you're feeling left out, betrayed, and alone, but you're not fully embracing what this moment is asking you to learn. What are you here to learn from this moment, this challenge, this time in your life? Log it, jog it down, write it down, figure out how to heal it for yourself because you will be helping others later. I hope this is resonating. Let me know in the comments section. So, yes, so... You uh, are being stubborn. There's this unrelenting thinking pattern that's not helping you about feeling abandoned, about feeling not like yourself by just feeling super emotional, can't make decisions, having a hard time beating yourself up, negative self-talk, feeling like you don't have support in a community, not happy in your life, and really very defensive, very, very defensive. And the Four of Cups is the universe is trying to give you a gift. There's one cup being placed here. See, some hand comes out with one cup, the Ace of Cups, which is a gift from the universe or something that might be emotional. It's an emotional, new, exciting start, but it's a gift and it's a gift of love and it's a new beginning if you choose to take it. But you're not sure. You're looking away at the three spilt milk and you're not sure. Three cups over here that are empty and you're not necessarily looking at taking yet. You could be bored, but you're not, or you're unsure of whether or not you want to take this gift. You don't trust this gift, and this is what the universe is telling you, and this is what I've been saying over and over again. You are going to be forced to be stuck in this situation if you don't start to see the benefits and the good that's happened out of this situation. Yeah, you're looking for stability in a home and a family life, but that's on hold until you heal the rest, until you heal the rest. So it's time to get out of this stubborn refusal and denial stage because I don't mean to sound crass. I've been there myself where we just prefer to wallow in victimhood because it's something we're familiar with. And again, I don't say that to be discrediting. It's just that's I've been there. So a handshake and meeting with a stranger could be important. Okay. Mountain major challenges to overcome. Yes. Horse short journey. Okay. Okay. So this taking this journey to recovery is not going to take as long as you won't think someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yes, this needs to come to an end. You need to let this go, as I said. And if you just allow yourself to feel and take this time right now to pause and overcome this major challenge, you are going to be moving through this fast where you would maybe get an offer, a handshake, an offer with something that will help you. Uh, that will come in, but you've got to release things. There's only so much energy we can hold, and we have to release the things we're holding that aren't serving us, the energies that don't align with what we're trying to manifest, and we have to let those leave us before the new can come in. But the outcome is key, successful outcome to your problems. You will. This handshake, this person you could meet is a key. There is something that's coming in. That when you're asked to take the risk, when you do all this, that will come in and put you in a better position. You're being asked to have faith and hope here because it, it's going to resolve itself. Last couple of cards, please. Yeah, there you go. Ten of Pentacles, the happiest card in the deck. Legacy, happily ever after. True family life, true healthy, happy family life. White picket fence, cars, houses, cottages, traveling, kids, that whole thing, the stability that you want, that family you want that's being held up right now the four of wands in reverse it's being delayed it's coming it's coming 
But right now you've got to get out of, you're stuck in this woe is me, looking at the two cups spilt and ignoring the three that are still upright. You're being asked to let go of that feeling alone, abandoned. You've got to release that. Go within. Go within, like I said, journal. Do the work within to release the pain. How did it serve you? Take your power back. What did you learn from this painful experience that you could help others with? And um, I, I feel like for a lot of people, um, this is about reframing their mindset, but I think there's more of a physical ailment uh, for a lot of people in this pile. But what did you learn? And if you can get past that and you can take the learning from that, and get rid of this healing, it's your life's going to turn around rapidly. So let me know how that resonates. I hope that makes sense for you. I hope it's helpful. Come back and watch it again at another time because I find when people go back and reflect later, things make more sense later in the aftermath when things have, you know, right now you don't see it, it, nothing maybe may be happening, but when you go back and watch this and you go back and you go, oh, now I get what that was about and it happened or, you know what I mean? It, it's time is fluid. So come and check back later. But uh, thank you for being here and please do all the youtube -y things and we'll see you soon. Hello, hello, pile three. What are your, what's your soul lesson here right now to do? What are you meant to do right now? I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. Okay. Uh, okay, so then what do we have? We have the devil. Chariot in reverse. Lovers. The stars in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, and the two of wands in reverse. So accessing the divine within. So really finding your power again, releasing habits that right now don't serve you to um, that have kept you from moving forward. I feel like there's been a lot of imbalance in your life, a lot of lack of stability and a lot of self-sabotaging behavior, something that came from a marriage or a family relationship or losing faith and hope, you know, losing faith and hope, something you haven't yet healed from that you haven't been able to heal from, something that left you suddenly independent. So it could be a split in a marriage uh, for a lot of you where um, you were unable to come together in this relationship, whatever this was. And uh, I feel like this is really about your inner confidence in yourself. This is really about you finding confidence in yourself again, about your power. Yeah, learning patience and having to, learning how to eat in moderation, do things in moderation, I'm hearing, to find the balance again, to reinvent yourself again. I feel like you've lost your essence, your I am presence is um, you've lost touch with who you are, you know, and what you're here, like who you are. I feel like you've lost your identity to this relationship, this person. Yeah, not celebrating, not feeling uh, like you've got this community around you, not feeling loved and supported, whatever this relationship, marriage, I think for the most part, for most of you is like you're you or like you're not seeing a new start yet you're not feeling a new start you're not starting you're just i feel like you're sad right now i feel like you're still healing let's get some clarifiers please you're still healing but um yeah five of voices you're really really you know you were arguing you were arguing you were fighting with yourself over a lot of things here um and a lot of fighting in the relationship a lot of fighting in the relationship so let's get a couple more clarifiers for you here. A lot of fighting in the relationship. So I'm sorry, uh, but uh, you've lost a sense of yourself here. You've lost your confidence. You've lost a sense of yourself. I got goosebumps. You've lost confidence. You've lost a sense of yourself here. Okay, let's get some more. Let's get some more. Okay, let's get some more. So this is about reconnecting. Yeah, this is a healing voyage. This came out in one of the, I think it was part one. These are the whales and there's definitely emotional healing. And this is, you know, a parent over a child. There's a lot of attachment still to this relationship that was dominating you, that was overbearing. And I feel like you've lost yourself to this person. Their energy is larger than you. And you gave so much to this person, this relationship, this thing for the most part, relationships that you really lost your identity in this. You lost yourself. 
is what I'm picking up, you know? So let me get more on that. Loss of identity, loss of who you are. Stand still. Yeah, you feel like your life is absolutely at a standstill. Absolutely at a standstill. Give me some more. It's about reinventing yourself. Reinventing yourself right now. Yeah. Fulfillment. Yeah. I mean, you want to feel fulfilled again. You want to feel fulfilled again, and you don't. You're looking for so somehow to find happiness and fulfillment again. And I feel like you haven't been able to do that. And so your soul's lesson right here, right now, is to find that you don't need a relationship and you don't need a job to feel happy or fulfilled, that you with nothing can be fulfilled and be happy that it's about your inner world. How happy are you in your inner world? There is always enough. Exactly. So this is the coy. This is about feeling like you don't have enough money. And I think I said that. I hope I did. That money and jobs don't fulfill you. That, you know, you're feeling like totally thrown out with this lack of a relationship or it could be a job, but I really think this is a marriage or a serious relationship where you feel like suddenly you're uh, uprooted, you're moving, you're moving very suddenly and you're on your own and you're worried financially. And this is what, you know, spirit's saying is get, find your happiness and don't find value in how much you make and what you're doing in your work. It's about your loving your sacred self. Here it is. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yes. Okay. This is the same card. Okay. Sacred self. It's time to revere and take care of yourself, to love and nurture your soul and yourself. Heart awakening. Awaken to the acceptance and divine, of, and divine love. Give and receive in balance. So I think you gave too much to others. Now it's time to give to you to yourself that's what they're saying and to find fulfillment from within sweet results await you will be satisfied but this is a, a time to journey within to heal from within let's get some angel cards to heal and find yourself again here we go heal healing now is time for you to give and receive healing Receive healing is my sense. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. So there will be your calling. Okay, that's your calling is to help to figure out how to heal your inner self because I think you feel lost right now. To receive help, healing, and maybe uh, down the road you will be inspiring others. But right now, you're being asked to heal yourself, to nurture yourself, to love yourself. Moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. This is exactly what I was saying. You have to find your inner peace, that you matter. Whether somebody told you so or made you feel like you didn't matter, you weren't lovable or enough for them or didn't make enough or unworthy in your job or whatever story that some baloney person fed you with that you are now still carrying around it's time to release that storyline it's time to see yourself you know in the right light that you matter that you and what who you are as a person not how much you make not how much big how big how many houses you have it's not about the finances it's it's about you as a person you are enough and and that's what you're being asked to learn to rebalance yourself to li limiting beliefs that are not serving you to let those go that you will have enough money eventually that your heart that you've shut down from whatever reason will be healed again you will be blessed again you will be fulfilled but you got to heal this first and you might be helping others later do the same. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Well, there you go. 
So there's your divine mission, is you've got to stay grounded and to balance your spiritual material world. So again, you've got too much focus on the material right now. And that's exactly what I was saying. You are here to heal and to be fulfilled, not by what you do for work or how much you make, but to believe that you are enough just in your own right. And that when you heal that, you balance your spiritual material. Right now it's out of balance with your focus more on material. When you realize that, you heal others just with your presence, just with your I am presence, just with your radiant light love energy, you heal others with your presence. You don't even have to do it for a work or a career. This is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading, Pile 3. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Yeah, we often forget to just ask for help from our guides. Just ask. Let's get some more, a uh, couple more clarifiers, please. A couple more clarifiers, please. Okay. Healer of the ages. You will be a healer. Wow, wow, wow. You will be a healer. After you heal yourself, you're going to help heal others. And again, it's that look at the energy at the solar plexus. You could be getting into Reiki healing, you know, massage. Uh, gosh, who knows? You know, a nursing, medical, um, a veterinarian, just doing meditations, a couch, a counselor, a therapist. Uh, there's thousands and millions of ways you can heal. We're all healing just by our energy body. You will be victorious. Millions of ways is a bit of an exaggeration, but when I mean what I mean when I say that is every person is a healer just by bringing their light energy. You know, it ripples through when you smile and see someone smile. It makes you want to smile. You know, victorious. You will see sweet results await. You will be fine. You will be fine. You're just being asked to heal this first, to stop focusing on money and focus more on how you need to heal and you can heal others. You are on a path. You are on the, a very divine path to help heal others. And so you will be led. You will be led. Um, but you've got to just right now go with the flow in life, which is asking you to heal this first, you know, asking you to heal that first. Okay, I'm going to ask for a couple more uh, guidance on what what next. What could you do next? What next? What next for pile three? What's next for pile three? What else could you be doing right now? The world. The world and upside down. Stop trying to expand outward. Stop trying to go outside of yourself. Stop. It's not time to travel. It's not time to journey. It's not time to, time to expand your world. It's time to shrink your world. Go within. Go within. Do the inner work. Do the inner work. Think, write, journal, express your emotions, release the habits that don't serve you. Yeah, you're not in balance. Get back into balance. Get back into balance. I'm just checking the deck to make sure they're not all in reverse. And there's upright, reverse, but they both came in reverse. So you're out of balance and you shouldn't be traveling right now if you want to travel you are carrying a heavy burden, but it's the Ten of Wands. It's the end of the burden. You're coming to the end of a cycle, and new beginnings will happen. Two more, please, Spirit. Two more. Two more clarifiers. Four of Cups in reverse. Again, there is an offer that you are being given. This is an opportunity to look at the good. To look at the good instead of focusing on the bad. The universe is protecting you with one gift. They're covering you, protecting you, sheltering you with the one ace of cups, which is a gift, but are you looking away in the wrong direction, focused on the spilt milk, or are you looking at this as an opportunity? This is an opportunity to turn your life around so you can teach others what you did and how to do it for themselves later. Other people. Yeah, nine of cups. Your wishes will be fulfilled, which is the upright. Your wishes will be granted. You've got sweet results await victory. Your wishes will be granted, but they're in delay right now. 
because you're too focused on money and you've got to be thinking about how you can serve others. How can I learn what I'm learning to help others heal? What do I need to do to heal myself, track it, log it, and then put a prototype together so you can later be the healer of the ages. That's what you're being asked to do. But you can't help others until you've helped yourself. So you've got to help yourself through this. That's the lesson you're here to learn right now. Help yourself get through this so you can help others in the long run. I hope you got some value here. Please do all the youtube -y things. Like, subscribe, click on the notification bells. And I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And let me know if this resonated and how it resonated. Love and light. Cheers.